Okay, so thanks for tuning in once again. In this video, I'm going to have give you a quick little tip on how to use the Google Vision API to analyze an image and see what Google thinks about it. So why this is really important is the, the main thing that I came across is if Google detects your image as being racy or adult, it might put it under safe search and that's going to affect search engine um, search engine rankings. So let me show you what I mean. So all you got to do is search for Google Vision API, not AI, API, and then click try it. So I'm going to make this video really quick. I'm not going to waste too much time. Basically, just take a image. Now, it doesn't support WebP as of, as of right now, or AVIF, I think, is the other one. So let's just take Massage. I think it's Massage 2 and open it. Process the capture. And so you can see. So first of all, if whatever you're selling or whatever you're trying to get across is something happy, you know, if you're trying to uh, express like a positive tone, if the image you're using comes back here and it says it's sorrow, very likely, I don't know, but it makes sense. That's going to hurt. You know, that's going to bring some inconsistencies into the equation. So you want to use images that are consistent with what you're trying to sell or what you're trying to push. So the first thing to look at is see the faces. What are the faces expressing? Joy, very unlikely. Sorrow, very unlikely. Anger. Now, the face isn't really clear, so it's not going to be very clear here, right? Very unlikely, very unlikely. So see if there's anything that's very, um, you know, almost certain and take that into account. And it has a confidence score for all this of 57%. So that's right in the middle. So objects, right? So what is it detecting here? It's detecting top, person, clothing, et cetera, et cetera. So is, that's, that's interesting. Nothing, I'm not really going to do anything with it. Labels. These are all also, if, if you're selling, you know, a baseball bat, you want to make sure in the picture, it's not detecting the baseball bat as an airplane. Right. So make sure it's detecting that it's a baseball bat. So you can come here and you can see it's detecting thigh, comfort, gesture. So this obviously would be for a massage therapist or a masseuse, I guess you could say, or whatever you call whatever you, you call a massage professional. Properties. Don't know how I'd use this. Dominant colors. Also, it shows some aspect ratio stuff. Not sure how I would use this to optimize search performance, but this is where it gets really interesting. Safe search. As you can see here, it's very likely. I don't know if that means this is an adult or it's adult content. I think it means it's an adult content, very likely. Um, spoof, it's not likely a spoof. It's like it's possible medical, which is good, violent, unlikely, and it, but it says it's very racy. And you can see this is the safe search tab. So it's detecting it as very racy. So if you're a massage therapist, you may not want to include an image like this. You may want to include images with some people with clothes on. And I've never come across anywhere it says very, and I, I've only tested like 20 or 30 images. I haven't found anywhere it says like whatever this very, what's the least, very unlikely. Any massage images, it li it likely, or it, for racy, it always tends to go up to at least this two or this three. So it's gonna be very hard not to find any that find any massage images, massage images, massage images that say very unlikely, but it's something to keep in mind. This is more of a thing you would do if you don't have a web page that's ranking well and you don't know why, because you've done all the on page, you got a ton of backlinks, um, you got all that, all that stuff done. You might want to check these images here and see what Google thinks they are, right? Like again, if you're selling baseball bats and it thinks it's a racy image, and it thinks what you're actually selling, what's in this picture, isn't a baseball bat. It's actually, like I said, an airplane or, you know, a mobile phone or something. That could be the problem. So you need to change images up. So um, if you need any help with this, head over to Norse.me. We can help you. Join the Discord channel below. It's a group of people that just talk about digital marketing, SEO, web performance, et cetera, et cetera. If you like this, please hit the like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I hope you found this useful, something to think about. This isn't something I would do with every image, but this is certainly something I would do if I'm having problems with a web page. And I don't know why this is another tool to add to your arsenal. So I hope this helps and have a good one. Later.